the episode begins with a race of chariots pulled by Komodo dragons, a little different from my recollection of last season's final. And here's our most beloved anime couple of friends, the Rejectors. A child grabs to Subaru's arm, first of all, where did she come from? Second, how old is she? 598 years old I suppose. She didn't like my last comment, you know, don't ask a woman her age. Amelia also makes a cute face, sometimes I almost forget she should be the best girl, poor author. Subaru head pets her, he wants Amelia as his waifu and the kid as his dog, smart guy. Subaru flashbacks about last season's end in case you have Alzheimer's and forget things in 4 years. So he tries to flirt on Amelia, but he's clearly not good at it. He says several embarrassing things like when he inserted an ice cube into his cat's anus. Amelia asks him to stop because it's already getting weird. The atmosphere gets a little tense, so she tries to ease the situation with a joke. Well, I guess Subaru didn't take that joke very well. Oh look, the corpse of that motherfucker whale. It's curious how last season they cut a rare tree to kill an endangered animal, where the fuck was Greenpeace? Anyway, here we are with the most beloved blue-haired girl in anime, after Ichigo of course. Crush is here too and talks to Rem. She must be expecting about 90% of the public didn't remember her name. Rem remembers some moments where Subaru smiled, I have more memories of him suffering. Out of nowhere, a cart explodes, that's right boys, multiverse confirmed. There's a man standing on the road, I hate when pedestrians do that shit. Before he blows up that cart too Rem saves Crush, like, fuck these guys. Why does everything go white in an explosion? Everyone knows that the explosion colors are red, yellow, and orange. It's literally raining chariots. Crush and he chat, unlike Subaru he seems to be pretty good at flirting. She attacks him with a slash, what an overreact, I'm he's a nice guy. He reciprocates by tearing her arm off, as the saying goes an eye for an eye and an attempted threat by an arm. Rem helps her to heal up, sometimes it seems every female character in anime is healers. A smiling character appears, you know that smile. It's the edgy smile but know that edgy. No wonder he's known as the gluttony, but he looks more like that salamander from Monsters Inc. Rem prepares ice stakes aiming at both occultists' heads, so she starts to tell them how amazing and awesome Subaru is, I wasn't aware that there was another Subaru in this anime besides the main character. She even makes the shiny horn appear to show she's serious. Rem attacks and he deflects without even ruffling his hair. They strike each other between chains and blades with footage of Subaru like subliminal stimuli. Suddenly she stops and, oh my god, she has fangs, how cute. Unfortunately, we don't see the end of the fight because this jerk ate the camera. We have a small time skip and those are the results of the fight. They arrive at the place, there are sundry people injured, but Subaru cannot find Rem. He's in despair, are you lost asshole? Look at these guys in pain, it looks like they're shitting. He finds her, Wait, it's just Ichigo. Okay, he finds her for real now. They didn't even put a cloth under her corpse. Subaru constantly shakes Rem. Little tip guys if somebody is passed out and extremely hurt don't touch them head. You're gonna end up leaving fingerprints and the police can find out what you did. Then he shakes the doctor too because he believes in the true gender equality as Kazuma. Subaru takes a sword and feels a little itchy neck. It's time machine time. Here we are again, right when Amelia's gonna make that joke. This time Subaru laughs. Fuck them. Back in the present, the protagonist watching a girl sleeping like a pervert. That's right, the girl's sleeping like a pervert. Then Puck shows up and looks at him with judgmental eyes. He wants to know about the subject of ice cubes and the cat. Subaru feels sorry, but Puck says he did the same with a group of human children, but instead of ice, he used gasoline. After that he meets with Crush, I know it's indelicate, but does she still have both arms? It's meeting time and I still can't see it well. Felix talks about a lot of important things, and where the hell is he looking at? What really caught my attention is that Felis is both cat and human. Felis asks to scrap the alliance and explains his reasons for wanting it. He explains that he's really pissed about Subaru chose this silver-haired bitch who don't give a fuck to him, literally, and cat ears are much superior over pointy ears. So Grandpa interrupts him asking for download Facebook on his cell phone. I'm still upset about when you refused to hack the government website so I don't pay income tax. I told you I cannot do this. I remember when you were just a puppy. I can't believe you're ill disposed to help grandpa. I know you good at this computer thing. Crush speaks over the osteoporotic one, and here we can clearly see that she still has both hands. Maybe not clearly, but there are two hands, I suppose. Crush also warns that Felis has no authority. Wait, she found a coin on the floor, where I was. Oh sure. Crush also warns that Felis has no authority to dissolve the alliance. She's the boss. Felis found that comment quite rude and cries just like when they put ice cubes and gasoline in his anus. Subaru returns to his standard perversion but is surprised by Amelia. I didn't remember she was so, well, big. It's a shame to have so much hate directed at Amelia because Subaru rejected Rem. The number of fan arts is a reflection of that, even though she has never done anything disgusting in her life. Anyway, they both begin flirting in front of Rem's dying body. They feel a little guilty about doing this but they can take it. Amelia turns her back on Subaru and he cries like hell. I don't know if he was rejected again or if it's just a weirdo fetish. So she hugs him from behind to calm him down, but with a safe distance because Subaru's a kinda disgusting boy. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe, I'd like to ask you to watch at least two videos of the channel in a row because it helps me a lot, also make a friend watch this video too, use violence if necessary, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, bye.